When using maps, we access stored data using keys of various data types. It can be a string, a number, a date, or even more complex data types, like object references and so on. So let us have a look at how this type of collection works. This figure shows that all universal collections are very similar to each other. The only difference between these three basic types is that arrays have keys of type number, structures of type string, and maps can have keys of any data type. There is no point in going through each step of working with maps again. Instead, we should focus on the main thing. As usual, we start with Syntax Assistant. Now, we see that almost all methods have a similar structure. Still, there are some differences. When using maps, we cannot access data through a dot as we did with structures. For this purpose, we use either square brackets or method get. In this piece of code, we have successfully created a new map and filled it with data that have keys of different data types, namely string, date, and number. After that, we accessed the map values using the keys and displayed the information on the screen. Next, we display all elements of the collection. Note that in both cases, on the output of keys and values, we apply the function to convert data types to string. But remember that keys and values in maps can be of any data type, including those that do not support conversion to strings. So let's switch to 1C Enterprise mode and see what happens. Note that the last entered data is displayed first. This is the peculiarity of maps. It is different in the case of structures. So let's recap. These are three basic kinds of universal collections that differ mainly in data types used keys. It is number for arrays, string for structures, and any suitable data type for maps.